Hey guys, it's Samantha here again. I'm the traveling mom boss. Today I'm taking my kids out to uh, Dinosaur World. So I wanted to show you guys what it's like there. It's supposed to be a fun place with a whole bunch of dinosaurs and things like that. So hope you guys enjoy the ride. Dinosaur World is a 45 minute drive from us, which is amazing. Even though certain places in Florida is far away, living in the part of Florida that I'm living at, which is Central Florida, everything is close. So it's a big, big plus. So guys, I just want to give you the heads up that at Dinosaur World, there is no food. You have to bring your food. So we're making a quick stop at McDonald's because you know we're on a budget. So um, we went and got some McDonald's and we have to wait because we actually got a deal at McDonald's. So um, they have to cook all that stuff. It's a lot of food, but it's a great deal. So make sure you get your food. You can bring food with you, but it does have to be like a light meal, like uh, sandwiches and things like that. You can't bring like a whole four course, six course meal. And I think they said that there's places where you can go sit down and eat. So make sure you got your food before you get there. You guys, we're driving in there right now. We've made it safely and we're about to go in. Here it is, that's Dinosaur World. I think that's a pterodactyl. Here it is. I guess we're supposed to be on the right. Open nine to five. All right. Well, it's nice and clean in here. Ooh, what a difference. Yeah, it looks like a whole different place. This is Dinosaur World. I could see some of the dinosaurs already. It's inside on the left. So it's free parking, guys. Just to let you know, you get free parking once you get in here. See, that's the parking lot. So we're gonna find parking right now. Oh, we're gonna take some pictures. I can already see one of the dinosaurs right there. So we finally made it. There's lots of parking here. I'm not sure if it's usually like this, but there is a lot of cars here, but there's still many spaces to park. So, so far it looks like really cool outside. Let's see what the kids think when we go inside. Are you excited? Yeah, but I kind of feel like there's a lot of dinosaurs inside there and I feel like um, if some of the dinosaurs are gonna be like... Okay, like, great, huh? Like, there's like electricity in them, like stuff where they can be around. Oh, we'll see, I'm not sure yet, but we'll see what it's like in there. There goes my family. We're all going in there. And this is the the little one that loves dinosaurs. Joshua, are you excited? You ready to go in? Yeah. Okay, so this is the gift store. There is lots of options. The kids are like, later, getting excited. See, he's already wanting to cry because he wants to stay. So there's so many options, but we're going to come back here later. So there's lots to choose from. If you would like a discounted ticket through the website tickets.com, check out the link in my description. We actually just bought our tickets through tickets.com. If you prefer to go on the official website, it's totally up to you. But if you want to get the discounted ones, please click the link that I have in the description. Kids are excited. Look at the little one. Look at Reginald. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Reginald. He's reading. Please do not touch. Getting her facts. The head alone will have the head alone will be around five feet in length. However, while the T-Rex may be maybe the most famous of dinosaurs, the dinosaur the dinosaurus and 
Well, you did a great job, but guess what? I always thought this was the biggest dinosaur. Turns out it wasn't. It isn't. Yeah, but that's not even the one. They gave us this map here where we can navigate the entire place. I believe it's about 4,000 square feet or 40,000, something along that. There goes a playground for the kids. I believe they have like maybe a show or something over there. But yeah, I'm pretty sure we're gonna stay here for a while. That's the fossil dig. Right now, I believe this is closed. Might be due to um, COVID. Look at this one. Look at that. Ooh, these are humongous. But I think the big ones are supposed to be plant eaters. So if they were alive, wouldn't have to worry about that. Like I said, guys, you can bring your food and these are the areas where you can sit down and eat. There's a lot of tables there. You can have like a little picnic while you let your kids go play over here. It's pretty big. You're okay. Like even if you fall, you're not gonna hurt yourself. Don't worry. Oh, you want me to push you some more? So this is where you can eat while you watch your kids play. This is the eating area. When kids don't want to leave the park, they start crying. When kids don't want to leave the park. The fossil dig is closed, but hopefully it's going to be open soon. So there's a notice that says it's closed right there. All of these are life size. This is a Dino Gem Mine. Not sure what this is. Oh, okay, so there's gems here. This is another part that's closed. Still a lot to see. We're not even halfway through yet. This is creepy. He's coming. Okay. He's coming, but he's back there. But he's coming. You have so guys, even though it's a long walk, it's still pretty easy. So if there's anyone who needs a wheelchair or they use a wheelchair or any form of disability where they might need assistance walking around. It, it's still navigatable. As you can see, the floors are really flat and there's lots of um, things available for kids and so on if you need any additional assistance. For people who need to take a break, there's a lot of chairs where you can sit down. So we're gonna take some pictures of the kids here and also get a little rest at the same time. 
One recommendation, hydration is very important. Make sure you have some water. Yep, as you can see, her bottle is completely empty and she has a lot more. So guys, make sure you have a book bag with things for your kids. Definitely needs to be um, hydrated in this place. It's a long walk. Check this out. It's a long walk, but there's lots of space, places to stop. Oh, look at this. What is that? Oh my goodness, you guys have to see this. What kind of dinosaur is this? I've never seen these in movies. Oh, a Mosasaurus? Okay, cool. Never seen that one before. Check this out. I don't know if they're friends or enemies. Huh? So check this out. You can go cool off over here. Come on, Jada. Check this out. This is a little fun place for the kids to cool off. Oh no! It's just like little droplets. Look at me as on the floor. Go next to it, Jada. This actually feels really good. Ooh. Ah. Oh, it's like cool water. And there goes the vending machine. We actually passed by here, but we're coming back again. Some more seats to sit down. Look at her, she's not gonna leave. It's just enough to feel good. Guys, your kids might be doing a lot of this. Okay, if they're really enjoying themselves, this is how you'll know. Huh? Yeah, come, there's more over here. Come on. These look like they will actually try to bite you, right? Those are the ones that come in a whole flock and get around. Never seen a snake plant before. This is a boneyard. I guess there's a lot of bones in there, but there's a lot of people in here, so we're probably gonna come back. So there's more seating areas. This is a garbage bin. Is that a dinosaur? I think it's one of those dinosaurs' legs. That's really tall, right? This one looks like it runs really fast. That's a Hyliosaurus. It was discovered in 1833, making it one of the earlier dinosaurs to be discovered, unlike other Ankylosaurus. Well, this is an odd looking dinosaur. Look at the head. It looks like a plant on top of it. <laughs> I wonder if this is a plant eater. What? This is called the Chintiosaurus. It doesn't even look like it's spelled like that. Yeah. Oh, okay. So this is very educational for the kids. There's lots of information about each dinosaur. This is the skeleton garden. Did they go this way? I think so. 
Do not touch the dinosaur skeletons. This is a Tyrannosaurus skull. Wow. Is that what they look like or is that I don't know. Stegosaurus. Oh, you can take a picture there? Yeah, because they don't know how to do it. Like, oh. Oh, let's go, guys. Sorry. Let's go. Let's go. No clue. So it looks like we're at the end of the road. So now we're going to do a turnaround. There's still lots more to see when we go around to head back. So this is the bridge to head back. I'm going to do like a U turn. Oh my goodness. Okay. Didn't expect this. So guys, just be um, aware that once we get to this point, you get to see a little action of two dinosaurs. Guess one might be a meat eater, eater and the other is not. Who knows? This dinosaur looks like an alien. The head looks like an alien. That's called a pack in Yep, that's a long name. I tried. There's also lots to see right here. Look how these are blending in. Oh, okay. I guess this area is more graphic. They look like they're getting ready to fight. Yep. It is getting darker and darker. Hold on just a second. I don't know if these are adult dinosaurs or babies, but looks like they're eating an adult and they already ripped off the leg already. So guys, um, if you have young kids who don't like to see blood or anything like this, just make sure you turn around on the other side instead of going around in a circle across this bridge. It's a little bit more graphic. Look at this pretty color. That's beautiful. Pretty sure they're scary and they bite you, but they're pretty. This little wow, I just don't understand how this side is like this. So this is for the older kids. Everybody, but they even have the red. Uh-huh, it's bleeding. Lots of facts. Oh, look at how it's stepping on its head. Oh, yeah. So this is where you can feed the fish, but it looks like it's not working. Hopefully they fix that soon. So I guess there's fishes in there. Oh, yeah. You can see the fishes. See them on this side, but they're on this side. Oh, you can't even. See. Oh, yeah. So they're in there. It's just this water is kind of dark. So we're heading out now. This was so much fun. So the kids had lots of fun. They're actually really upset that we're leaving, but it's time to go. So we really enjoyed it. So I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit more facts about uh, this place and i'll also tell you some other companies that's going to give you a couple of discounts 
I'm coming here. Time to go. This is where we started. Actually, this is not where we started, but this is about quarter way in. So we're headed out and this one is so upset. She does not want to leave and she wants to go to the park. This is how much fun it is. Be prepared to stay here for hours. She's running to the park. Oh my goodness, look at this. Hey guys, so we're back home right now. We're winding down. We had such a awesome day. It was amazing. The kids loved every moment of it. Of it. There was lots of tears. They did not want to leave. They wanted to go back to the park. They wanted to go back and see the dinosaurs all over again. We went into the gift shop and we got some things for the kids. The price range is like re really low where you can get something for a dollar or under a dollar all the way up to about 30 or 40 dollars there's an amazing selection of things so you will find something for yourself and for your kids there's um earrings necklaces there's jewelry there's decorations for your home there's toys there is lots to choose to choose from the gift shop is actually seven thousand square feet so you can find everything you're looking for there and i just want to let you know that Walking through that park was amazing because all of the dinosaurs were life-size. There, there was a lot of information about what each dinosaur's name was, where they found them, where they found the bones, and you know, things about them like that they're a plant eater or meat eater. As we were ending the day and going back, we went to a different part of the park where we were seeing a lot of meat eaters. So you guys got a chance to see how some of those meat eaters eat. But it was very interesting. The kids didn't cry, they weren't scared. But I just wanna give you guys a heads up. If you have a child that you know is a crier or they get really emotional, you might wanna skip that part. You can walk back in the direction you came from or you can go around in a circle if you choose to just see how they're gonna react. There's lots of rest areas. The only thing you do have to keep in mind is that there's no restaurants, there's no snack area, there is a vending machine. Each item in a vending machine is around $3 and you need cash, they do not take cards. So um, there might be some changes because of COVID because it was like a f about three locations with activities that were clo that was closed, but it was still fun. There wasn't another area where it's like an excavation where you can um, get to see the bones and things like that on your own. Like you got the dirt and you got to take the bones out. So I saw some families there, but my family and I, we chose not to do that part because we had little ones and that just would have been really messy. So we skipped that, but they had lots of fun. They didn't want to leave. So we had about three out of the four kids crying. So, I mean, what, what, what do you expect? So that's how you know it's great. It's a budget friendly activity. It's in central Florida. You don't have to come to Florida just to go to Disneyland. There's many other activities to do here. I'm gonna try my best to show you guys another side of Central Florida besides Disney World. If, you, if you're here for Disney World, definitely go, but try to see if you can find some time to do some other stuff. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, or if there's anywhere else in Central Florida that you want me to go to, to see what it's like before you guys get here, to let you know if it's worth booking a plane ticket to get here, let me know. I'll go check it out for you guys, and I'll do a whole tour of it to see for you to see it before you get here. But guys, there's lots to do. This Florida is a huge place. I love Central Florida. I had an option of going to the North or the South. I chose the Central Florida because there's many things to do here, many restaurants to go to, and the people over here are so friendly and so sweet. But you guys, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Also like my channel. That does a lot with reaching more people who might be interested in what I'm sharing. So thanks again for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.